Hello YouTube viewers, friends and uh, trolls who's gonna be blocked today is September 5th and the topic is I'm not your doctor so obviously yeah I'm not but thing is uh, what do I mean by that and this is gonna be a little bit uh, long update and it's gonna be maybe a little bit unpleasant so first things first I think that beginning of this topic goes maybe even like 20 years ago when I learned from my that time friend Miro, psychologist. Uh, he had a master in psychology and lots of experience because he was working with the problematic youth. I met him through the fellow Reiki practitioner Bobo and so on. So guy told me many many good things about life and uh, you know he was older guy very smart guy formally very educated as well but he told me one thing he said kruno čuje se ljudi koji te tretiraju kao kontejner za smeće jer ti ljudi dođu do tebe i skrcaju svoje smeće i kada više ti ne možeš progutati to smeće i zatvoriš kontejner onda šutnu taj kontejner sa nogom opsuju te i kažu da si govno jer jedino što traže je mjesto gdje će skrcati svoje smeće so back to english he said, Kruno, be very aware of the people who treat you as a garbage container because those people are just looking for a place where they're gonna dump their garbage. They're not looking for the wisdom. And if you simply cannot swallow any more of their garbage and you close the lid of that container, they're gonna kick it with the foot and tell you to fuck off and uh, be very upset about you. And this is the case with many people uh, on, in this uh, targeted individual scene and with many people in general. So what is going on is, um, well, there are many people who recently started to be targeted and now they're panicking and they're looking for a mommy or daddy who's going to be uh, their spiritual guru and listen to their problems endlessly and they are like fuck idiot is the term in German language meaning somebody who is idiot and who can only talk about his job in this case it's it's, it's the same thing uh, it's one song broken record always repeating and um, sorry about this noise people are repairing their uh, cottages where they keep equipment for uh, small boats I'm again in the small harbor where I used to hang out with my father when I was five and, and later on alone so okay so very first thing I need to tell you uh, is uh, I'm not your doctor meaning I'm not a professional I don't have a medical degree in psychology or psychiatry which are two different things of course I don't have licenses and I, I don't run the practice and etc so I'm not legally doing this kind of counseling business second thing I need to tell you is I'm not doing that illegally in a gray market or for free or over the Skype um, WhatsApp uh, Viber you know you name it the internet I'm simply not doing it and I'm not doing it in private and I'm not doing it for a couple of reasons one one reason is uh, I figured out very long time ago that I cannot actually help people that only people can help themselves and now comes the part which people confuse with either one or two when I'm started to explain how can you help yourself meaning it's not gonna me who's gonna help you I, I can like point you the way but you have to actually do the walking okay I'll do the talk you do the walk because I've done the walk for myself so first things first if you guys really want to get rid of yourself of your etheric parasites if you guys really want to detach um, from different elements of control if you guys really want to deprogram yourself there are certain things you need to do and every single one of those steps cost your time your money of course and your energy so now i'm gonna be very specific if you want to understand the exercises from dr corrado malanga the color simulation the triad the simbad um, and if you want those exercises i can send you because on dr corrado malanga's website it's it's worse than a, a jungle in thailand where i lived as a monk you, you you're not gonna find that it's confusing because he's italian okay <laughs> so you can ask me to send you his works because i organized it 
in three languages, English, Croatian and Italian. So if you want to understand these things, first and very first thing you need to go with your hand in your pocket, take a wallet and pay how much does it cost, a Silva method mind control. In back in 1997, I paid it 100 American dollars, which was a lots of time, lots of money for me back then. It it it, it takes two days, and they teach you a huge array of techniques, visualization techniques, healing techniques, how to get in meditation very quickly and out, and uh, how to control your mind and so on. And this is excellent thing. I'm just gonna add uh, that. It is Illuminati technique, which doesn't make it necessarily bad. However, they do tend to instruct you, as always, you know, their techniques work, to invite um, advisors in your head and listen to those advisors, which uh, basically going to be reptilian representatives in your mind. So just don't do that. Okay, for the sake of the argument, I really need to tell you disclaimer but the rest of the thing they are giving you is actually very good and it really uh, pays off second thing you really need to learn is again with a hand in a pocket go for goenka retreat 10 day retreat they don't really charge a specific amount of money you give at the end what you think it's worth it but of course trip to those retreats and back and whatever costs money absolutely and energy and time right this is how it goes and um, finish Goenka. Goenka will teach you mindfulness. It will teach you advanced technique of uh, Vipassana, uh, Buddhist meditation. He calls it Vipassana. And this is absolutely excellent and it's a life savior because it teaches you to observe processes in your mind and your thoughts without engaging. Which is excellent when in real time bullshit comes into your life, big drama or some something dramatic. You calm yourself, you watch it, and then you decide spontaneously, intelligently what to do. You're not jumping into the drama, right? As an idiot, as many young people think they need to jump into the thing to solve it immediately. No, you can wait 5, 6 seconds, 10 seconds, and then decide smartly what to do. So these are the two things you really need to know in order to understand Dr. Corrado Malanga. And Another thing I really need to say for the sake of the argument, there is this whole industry, especially in the United States, of counseling. And I know that I'm talented for that, okay? But I'm a targeted individual, I cannot do this job, I don't have permissions, and and it's actually not effective. So, But there is this whole industry of psychologists and shrink and now, you know, different new age gurus and all that bullshit. And it all works like this. They take your money and they just, you know, pretend that they listen, that they give a shit. It's like, it's like $150, $300 per hour or something like it. And I know it's a privilege which mostly belongs to the upper middle class and upper class. And many people would like to have this kind of privilege in a life simply to have somebody who can listen to them and give a good advice. But eventually, guys, this is not really helping you. And coffee time. So now we have internet. Now internet is the arena. And I have different categories of people. And I'm just going to spit it out. And, you know, sorry if you uh, find yourself in one of those categories and you know me through the internet. I really have to say it for the sake of the uh, argument and posterity. So I have born in Illuminati coming into my life. Uh, I had like one from Croatia visiting me and later on... Um, asking me repeatedly am i am i am i illuminati and i didn't want to say anything and he was like one through one obviously vibe and later on he played the game i'm disappointed in you you're not what i thought i'm very disappointed in you which which is you know uh, read about this a little bit on a google uh, under the narcissistic games and um, it's one of the good ones then i had mike the illuminati guy who was uh, really, you know, very mentally <laughs> difficult case, and uh, he tried to gaslight me, and um, yeah, I remember when we parted around the uh, London statistics 2011, when I said that uh, born in uh, British are only 45%, and he, he found it as a doom and gloom, and uh, bashed me uh, over the phone that I'm like uh, spreading bad, uh, bad information, which is a statistically correct data, you can find it on the internet. Uh, ethnic British are 
in 2011 been only 45 percent mostly located north london south london is all black and brown respectfully so um another another like you know carolina <laughs> brasiliera de gaia santos uh this is what i call and this, she's not the first one but i'm naming her because she's like obvious example i'm calling that I end up being married, but nobody informed me, absolutely nobody informed me. A woman coming out of the blue, I guess smart is new sexy, and uh, she finds, you know, you know uh, maybe she's in crush, I, I would say so, and, uh, and uh, oh my god, what the bullshit. <laughs> and then she wants to contact me every day and feeling upset if she, if she can't reach me that day, and like, what the fuck i mean <laughs> block erase find other platforms where she might be our youtube channel block that as well go bye bye so i have those I, oh yeah and of course um schizophrenics oh yes you know guys really this is totally special category they are really people who are schizophrenics and they really think that they are targeted i'm not really sure and I had one from Eastern Croatia. He was even sending me pictures of his feces. If I could tell, um, you know, if he, if he is in a good health based on a picture of his feces in his hand, fucking disgusting. So I had that and um, right now my YouTube channel is not that big. I have like 3,500 subscribers and next month I'm gonna have 500 more because it's really rising. This is how it goes with the YouTube. It takes forever to get to the first 500, then it goes like that. And now imagine only 1% of these people trying to contact me on a daily basis with their problems. It's like 35 people. That, that's, that shit simply cannot fly, you understand me? So, um, let me recapitulate again. I'm not your doctor. I'm not your doctor legally. I'm not your doctor illegally. Uh, I cannot per se help you out because you can help yourself. However, if I s just said Silva method, Vipassana meditation and Dr. Corrado Malanga and you start to calculate, oh shit bro, that shit lots of money and that shit lots of work, you know what, let me just tell you my problems. Well, I'm, I'm not really cold stone. I can, I can hear your problems once or twice. But my friend, if our relationship is only about you coming into my life either in the real life or digitally and just downloading your shit i really have to uh, quote again miro my friend i'm not a garbage container i'm not that place and you know what i don't even give a shit if you get uh, upset about it but this is not how it like goes it. because this like kind it. of this kind of guys yeah, are yeah. are really uh, are really and I've been there, you understand me? I had these kinds of uh, guys and I know how quickly they turn against me. So, um, yeah, sorry if I upset you. I just told you uh, my truth. And if I send you this um, link, because I'm doing it, one of the reasons is specifically to send it in a future to some people. I'm not labeling you as schizophrenic. I'm not labeling you as a, as a problematic person, as a loser. I'm simply trying to point you that this is what I've been going through my life. You understand me? And this is my, my experience and my point of view right now. Okay? One thing I really need to add, and this is, uh, if you send me Facebook request, messenger, contact request, don't be offended if I deny. And I'll just explain the statistics. So statistics is, after a ditch of the trolls, first and second wave of trolls, I have um, maybe 80% uh, problematic cases and 20% people with whom I can exist uh, on a Facebook and exchange emails and uh, 
in most of the cases not even have like a meaningful really conversation but at least it's not lobotomy so roughly goes like this out of five people i have uh, two i would like say schizophrenics then um, i have uh, two I'm a little bit or a lot obsessed by you and then I have one okay person problem is is that every of these people require some time resource management dealing at least mentally with them and uh, I, I'm scarred I'm honestly scarred I had uh, so so much bullshit over the over the internet as, uh, as I explained in this video and um, I really, you know, every time when I when I when I see somebody wants to contact me, in, in my hand is like Pareto's principle: eighty percent bullshit, twenty percent okay. And a question mark, you know, should I even bother to to go through the you know filtering process to see if I'm dealing with uh, normal, mentally sane, normal, uh, balanced person. So, that being said, guys, hello YouTube. It's October 18, 2018. It's end of the summer, but still the same topic. Topic is: uh, Do I own you anything if you send me 20, 30, 50, or even 100 dollars? Well, answer is no, really, but thank you. And why am I saying this? Because in past four years, I had not that many donors and I was not even really asking for money. You're not going to find my Patreon under my videos. You're not going to find my PayPal. I might put it in the future. And the uh, donors which been coming they've been coming in two distinctive groups again Pareto's principle 20 versus 80 percent 20 percent of those including Goldman didn't ask anything for me not even one-on-one -on -one, uh, Skyping or extensive chats but 80 percent of those who donated something started to act or acted as if now they have their personal uh, digital spiritual whatever therapist and uh, i can tell you that in one case for a 30 dollar donation i was um, working two digit days answering always on a same absolutely same questions and i calling it going into circles so why am i saying all this i'm saying all this you know some boundaries um, uh, to be made and boundaries are don't feel offended, don't feel entitled, uh, even if you're a white, uh, female, American, upper middle class lady, who is uh, genetically, I guess, uh, programmed to be entitled on stuff and getting stuff. I own you nothing. Okay? And uh, regarding the... Uh, hours and hours of chats these donor types are asking implicitly but asking with their attitudes well i'm not really sure if i am able to deliver all that for uh, this uh, meager mickey mouse donations and honestly i really don't feel like it i don't feel like it that uh, i'm supposed to be a person who is your container i'm not I'm not a person who who can go through endless emails and, and trying to figure out what you wrote that. Especially when letters are starting, sentences are starting with the small letters and without full stops. New way of writing, new way of grammar, past 20 years. And uh, so you guys don't be, don't be offended uh, for this ending. It's simply honest. Uh, way too long time in this game and uh, 
figured out that there are different types of TIs. See, another piece of advice for TIs is, uh, and I think this is the best I can give it uh, now, is um, when you TI, it's something like, uh, hey Mali, it's like uh, having a handicap. Meaning it's not really different than uh, being disabled person or for the sake of the argument uh, mentally challenged person You simply need to go well, down You simply need to live with that handicap. That's all and uh, And nobody can really teach you that guys like me. They can give you some free advices like don't go to cop, don't tell them that, that they're perping you because cops gonna send you to the psychiatrist and psychiatrist gonna send you to institution. Same thing, don't go to your doctor because it's gonna be the same thing. Well, third thing is uh, simply try to live your life uh, knowingly that some things are denied from you, like a job, <laughs> like a status in the society like a circle of friends because all that is just a game for the system to break and to manipulate but uh, there are things you have other people don't have that doesn't really go for the old TIs for a certain number and this is a normal IQ or even higher ability to understand things and that can uh, be extremely beneficial even in this kind of um, crippled life and even a disabled person and as a TI you are you can have a happy life you can definitely have happy moments you can have a nice moments by the beach maybe some ganja maybe a piece of chocolate and enjoying these little things and enjoying in learning things and and sharing uh, that knowledge and etc everybody's individual another type of TIs I'm not really happy with. I call them um, <laughs> normal people turned TI, kind of. And this is the type which is a little bit annoying. And uh, these are the typically types who just a happen to be TIs or they think that they are, and they knew nothing about the conspiracy. Uh, discovering as they go through the process, oh, you know, Freemasons, oh, you know, Jesuits. Hey, Kruno, let me please inform you about Jesuits and Freemasons. Well, thank you for your links, my $20, <laughs> my $20, $20 sponsor. But the thing is, uh, how about Fritz Springmeier and who are exactly the Illuminati? Oh, fuck that shit, dude, that's way too much reading. I can't do that. Hey, you know, Kruno, I figured out the Jews. Right, I, let me, I'm a new TI, I just donated you $20, and now I'm gonna teach you about the Jews, Kruno, and because you're hoping that you're gonna get another $10 from me, you're gonna so listen it. <sighs> Please spare me that bullshit. This is, this is simply a form of torture. Do you understand me? And I have that in my life. I know that there are worse kind of problems in life than that, but oh my God, when they start. Get off my back. Thank you for watching me. Subscribe if you like.